Hi guys, Tracy here with another scrapbooking process video. This time I'm going to be scrapbooking this photo of my family out on our front deck on anti-bullying day. We were all wearing pink, so I thought it would be a fun idea for us to go out on the front deck with the selfie stick and just snap a family photo of us. So I'm just having a look through the Skinny Love Kit, which is, and the add-on as well, which is the kit from the Scraptastic Kit Club for the month of September. And my friend Tanya was here and she was doing Project Life beside me. So there's going to be a little bit of chatting in this video. You won't hear the chatting, but you'll see my hands moving. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll edit it out if it gets to be too much. Anyhow, uh, I really love this striped paper from Basic Gray. It's from the Barista collection and I really, really love it. So I'm going to use that as one of my layers here. And I also wanted to use the house paper from the Crepe Paper Wonder collection. And uh, I like that because it's the picture was taken on our front deck. So our house is, the outside of our house is included. This red paper is also from the Wonder Collection from Crepe Paper. And I really wanted something, I wanted something bold and solid, solid-ish <laughs> as the layer immediately under like matting my photo. And I like that because it provides a little bit of definition for the photo. The edges of the photo don't get lost amongst all the soft lines because there's lots of soft lines in the photo and then there's lots of soft lines in the pattern papers surrounding it. So I find that using a bold, either a dark color or a, or a neutral, um, like black or navy blue or something as my first matte on in my layers I find that that just helps give the photo some emphasis so I was using that cloud paper from the Scraptastic Kit Club it was just an exclusive paper but I decided I wanted something a little bit more bold so I went with the circle it's like a um a coral color with circles on it instead I just cut that out a few minutes ago and um, yeah I like that because the other paper was just getting lost amongst all of the busyness of that house paper and then these are little tags they're little ombre fabric tags from pink fresh studio they're called happy things that's the collection that they come from and I love how it looks and I love that it's pink and the word brave I thought was really appropriate for this layout it's not going to be part of the title but I really love that wood veneer and I thought I would layer it over the tag and I'm picking out a couple of other embellishments that I think will just look nice with this layout so I have those resin hearts and the flare badge everything is from the Scraptastic Kit Club except for this paper clip that I'm picking out so I know that I knew from the beginning that I wanted everything shifted over to the left or to the right <laughs> and I knew that I wanted it to look like it was kind of clipped onto the edge of the paper so that this would have a casual look like I just bunched up a, pun a bunch of papers and clipped them over to the side and did some writing along the left hand edge of the layout so that's what I picked out that star paper clip for and that probably came in another Scraptastic Kit Club kit from some time over the past two or three years because I don't remember buying them. So I'm guessing they came in a kit. They might have been racked to me. I can't quite remember. Anyhow, I'm just, uh, I'm going to float them below my layers. I, I know that much. And I also have those puffy stickers also from the Crepe Paper Wonder Collection. I really love those. They've got the really cute cats and houses on them. And I thought I'd probably use one of the house ones as just to pick up on the theme of houses on this one. Even though houses have nothing to do with anti-bullying day, um, the picture was taken on the front of like, on the front step of our house. So that's why I'm going with the house theme. And I'm just going to use these really cool cork thickers by Dear Lizzie. They're called Noted and uh, I really love them. They're really a nice block font and I love cork because you can paint it and color it different colors. I often don't leave cork plain. I will usually whitewash it or mist it or do something to make it a little bit less of an orangey color. So I'm spelling out the words on separate pieces of wax paper because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pulling the title apart. And at this point, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to want to use the, the year 2015 or not, but I thought if I don't use it on this layout, I'll probably use it on another layout. And if I use 
the 2015 it will be for design purposes like if I feel like I need something below as well as on top or if I think that the um, title needs to be longer just from a design perspective. Uh, I, I was having so much trouble getting the stickers back into their original packaging that I decided to repackage them now. I usually do that when I first get a kit but this time I didn't and so I just did it now. That's what you saw me there. I just repackaged my thickers into 6x12 uh, bags that don't have a uh, cover on them. Like they don't have a seal or a zip lock or anything. And it just makes it easier to slide my thickers in and out. And I do have a video about that. So right here I'm using Studio Calico Mr. Huey's in um, opaque white is the name of the color. It does take a very long time for opaque white to dry, so you will see me pull out my heat gun, and I'm just talking for a little bit first. <laughs> I'll cut this part out. Okay, so here I am, I'm back, and I am drying my letters with my heat gun. And uh, I bought my heat gun at Michael's, but not in the scrapbooking section. I bought it in the gift wrap section. It's actually, uh, it was quite a bit cheaper than the scrapbooking heat guns. It is the exact same tool, but it is marketed as the tool that you use to shrink wrap stuff. And it was uh, in my Michael's at the time, this was many, many years ago, they were charging $30 for the heat guns in the scrapbooking section. And this was, I think, $11.99. <laughs> so just a little tip to shop around if you can't find a heat gun. If you're looking for one in the scrapbooking section, try the gift wrap section and it might actually be quite a bit cheaper. So I am moving all of my letters onto fresh waxed paper. This is a bit of an extra step that I guess you don't really need um, to do, but I didn't want to get that white. What happens is the, the ink soaks into the cork because the cork is porous, but the wax paper is not porous. So it ends up staying a wet mess on the wax paper. So I didn't want to risk having any of that wet messy stuff uh, get on my scrapbooking layout. So I just moved everything over to fresh wax paper. And then I just used a, ba a baby wipe. I'm not sure if I'm doing it on screen or not, but I always use lots of baby wipes when I'm using white opaque mist because if you get any on your fi fingers, it's really easy to transfer it onto your project. So I'm back, my fingers are clean, and I'm just going to have a look at what embellishments I want to use. These are washi tape stickers from Studio Calico right down in the center of the screen at the bottom. And I'm just going to lay out my title on the wax paper. And see, I'm just still very careful about my fingers. Thinking about using the flare there and just floating those hearts down below beside the 2015. And so before I put my layers back together again, I just snapped a picture with my phone and I'm going to outline some of these papers, but not all of them. These two are the ones I'm going to outline. The red one really doesn't need outlining because it's bold enough as it is. So you get that separation between the papers. Uh, but these two tend to blend in with one another when they're layered together. So I just want to outline it to make sure that there's more emphasis between the two patterns. As you guys know, I like to outline. I outline lots of things. Almost every layout that I do has outlining on it. I've been doing it for years and I really love the look. So one thing I didn't do with this layout was I didn't use pop dots in between my layers. I've received some questions about when I do that and when I don't. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention here is that I made those lines on the basic gray paper go horizontal because it kind of, uh, because the um, the siding goes horizontal in the photo and I just didn't want too many different things going different directions. You actually end up not being able to see very much of that paper, but I just wanted it consistent with the lines that were already in the, in the um, photo. It might have made more of a difference in a different kind of um, application than this, like if I had more of that basic gray paper showing, but I just wanted to mention that. 
So yes, uh, I didn't do pop dots this time. Mostly I sort of forgot I was I was planning on sticking some in and then it's only now when I'm narrating that I'm realizing that I didn't. And I really just do it for lift and for dimension and to add a little bit of interest to the layout. So here I'm just taking one of the stamps that came in the, it didn't come in the kit, but there are always stamp sets that are designed to coordinate with the kit. They're an extra purchase. And so one of the stamp sets had a star on it. So I just decided to use uh, my gray, I think it's called Slate Gray Ink from Stampin' Up. And I just stamped some stars on that. And it picks up on the star that's already on the layout. And I got a little bit of ink on my background paper, which I'm trying to see if I can just take a couple of layers off the top of the paper with an eraser just to kind of get that off but it's not it toned it down a little bit but it's not working that well but I'm figuring if it's a big deal I can always put sprinkle some embellishments or something over it as you see I'm just putting that washi sticker I just cut part of it off and I'm putting it below where my hearts are going to go and I just am finicky with it a little bit it didn't look straight to me so I took it off and put it back on so yeah, the hearts, or sorry, the stars on the tag pick up on the star paper clip. And that's why I picked the star stamp as opposed to some other stamp that came in the kit. It was also one of the smaller ones that's easy to do. You don't see this because it's happening off screen, but I'm using my mono multi liquid glue uh, to adhere those hearts in place on the washi sticker. I'm also using the same glue. Sorry, I forgot to zoom out here, you guys. Uh, I'm using the same glue just to uh, put this wood veneer brave in place. And it's not part of the title, so I'm not so concerned about the readability of it. I know it kind of blends in with the background, especially where it, where the R is layered on the house outlines but I'm not too concerned about it because it's more of an accent piece than something that's essential to the meaning of the layout but it is relevant because it the story that I'm going to tell in this layout is about uh, some really brave children or teenagers I guess so this is a centering ruler I'm going to show you a close-up of this ruler before the end of this uh, section of the video. So if you want to know where to get it, the information for that is coming up. Every time I use this ruler, I always get questions about what it is and where I got it. So it is a centering ruler. So it goes from the middle of it is zero and it works its way out. So it goes from to six on either side of the zero. And it has all of these lines and a couple of dots, like holes and slots in it for helping you make lines of different widths and I find it really really helpful for doing my journaling lines. I did my journaling lines in my gray Chamel journaling pen which is my favorite journaling pen. Um, I wanted the lines to be visible like I didn't want them to look like I didn't want to make them in pencil and then erase them I wanted them to stay there um, but I didn't want them to be as dark as my writing so that's why I picked gray and then my writing is in black and it would have been a good idea to have done this layout on the other side of the of the of the cardstock because this is a textured cardstock and the other side of it is smoother it's still not 100% smooth but it's smoother than the textured side and it would have been easier to write on so when I'm writing on textured cardstock I um, try to go slowly and basically when you go slowly it means that your line comes out a little bit thicker with your marker and that's essential when you're working on textured cardstock because otherwise you're going to get bumps in your lines and places where the um, the line kind of looks dotted the line being the line of your of your handwriting so I am writing quite a bit slower. I mean, it doesn't look slow because I've got it on fast forward right now, but I am writing quite a bit slower than I normally would. And yeah, just trying to be swift but slow, if that makes any sense. So you want to make sure that you're, that each stroke is a complete stroke. Like you don't want to do little half strokes or anything like that because then it'll look shaky. Um, but I'm just trying to do it a little bit slower than I normally would. 
And I wasn't sure how many lines I would need, so that's why I keep adding a couple more and writing a little bit more and then adding a couple more. And I'm making it so that it is left justified and uh, has a, like they're all different lengths on the right side. Just because I, I like that look. And when I'm doing my lines, I'm using the lines on the ruler as a guide, but I'm also using the lines on my grid, on my uh, work mat, on the grid of my work mat. And so that's why you'll notice every time I add lines, I am lining my layout up with the grid lines underneath of it, except for this time. <laughs> At that time I was just adding a tiny little bit of a line anyways. So here is the freeze frame. It's called Zero Hero Centering Ruler, uh, the see-through ruler company in Connecticut. So I think there was a website there. If you press, if you go back and press pause, you'll be able to get it. Um, I think I got it at Michael's. It was many, many years ago. So I, I hope that people can find it if you're, if you're looking for it. I'm sure there are other brands of centering rulers out there too. I know that Tim Holtz makes a centering ruler too. I'm not sure. Um, I, I have it actually. I don't know where it's at right now. Um, but I don't think that the Tim Holtz one has has uh, like slots in it. Like this ruler, you can actually stick your pen in side of the little holes and, and draw your lines that way. I never do that, but it's an option, I guess. So these letter stickers have really taken... A bit of a beating or at least the sticky part on the back of them because they've been moved around from one piece of wax paper to the next and they have been uh, drenched in mist and then dried <laughs> with a heat gun so they were never all that sticky and now they're definitely not very sticky so I am just using my Tombow Mono Multi adhesive to glue them down this is my favorite super strong adhesive glue I use it for anything bulky that I need to attach to my layout. I sometimes will use glossy accents, but uh, this one doesn't, if you do get a little bit of oozing, it dries matte, so it doesn't shine like glossy accents does if you make a mistake. It's a little bit easier to conceal your mistakes. And some of the white mist is transferring onto my fingertips as I do this because it's dry, but it's just, it's still, if you, if you handle the letters too much, it will come off on your hands. It'll be fine inside of the page protector. <clears throat> Pardon me. So uh, the other thing when I was lining up my letters, the A in anti and the B in bullying, I didn't want them to be lined right up with the edge of that house paper. So I just made them a little bit staggered. So the A is in a little bit and the B is out a little bit from where the edge of the paper is. And then the two is going to be in a little bit. I just didn't want it to look all lined up on that side like that, especially where the B was sticking out. I didn't want the B to be the only thing sticking out, the B in the word brave. Uh, now I wanted to use one of these puffy stickers up here just to bring a little bit of uh, embellishment up to this top left hand corner. And so I took the other piece of that washi tape sticker that I cut off the edge of this one with the six that I'm by right now and put it up there. And now I just thought that these puffy hearts were perfect because to layer with those uh, resin hearts because or acrylic hearts because they're the same colors. So I thought it matched quite nicely. Sorry, I forgot to zoom out here, but I'm just adding some of these Heidi Swap gold chipboard stickers. They are, they have gold foil on them. They're really pretty. So I'm just adding them in a couple of different places. And that's gonna be my only embellishment really is just those gold stickers. I mean, I guess you could consider the, the brave and the washi tape and the little hearts are, are embellishments too, but there's not too, too much embellishment on this one. I decided to layer another of the puffy stickers on top of the triangle that points to anti. 
And I was thinking about using those authentic letters to spell out wear pink somewhere on the layout, but I decided against it. The word, the phrase wear pink is the last phrase in my journaling. And I just didn't feel like I needed to emphasize it anymore. I'll read the journaling for you guys in case it moved too fast there. It says in 2007, two boys in Berwick, Nova Scotia, bought and distributed 50 pink shirts after a grade nine boy was bullied for wearing a pink t-shirt the first day of school. The next day, almost all the students, boys and girls, wore pink shirts to support the boy who had been bullied. Since then, the second Thursday of September has been celebrated as Stand Up Against Bullying Day in Nova Scotia, and all the students wear pink. So there are the photos. Thanks so much for following along with this process video. I hope you all have a really great scrappy week.